What do you know about stock car racing? Well, watch on television, of course. You've seen it on television? ESPN. The coverage is excellent. You'd be surprised at how much you can pick up. I sure I would. Hello and welcome to another exciting Let's Game starring me, Elton 11 Widebody, and today we're going to be playing Days of Thunder on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Days of Thunder. Another, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I like that part. Uh, it's another infamously uh, difficult Tom Cruise action movie based uh, video game on the NES. And it has a little bit of an attract mode, which I will uh, show off while I discuss briefly. So I did do a playthrough of this game. And um, unfortunately, it was uh, tool assisted because this game is far too difficult to play on regular difficulty. And I do believe there's one other Let's Play of this game that I saw, uh, and the guy uh, used cheat codes. Days of Thunder is based on the movie by Paramount Pictures, but you knew that! And I hope you've uh, all seen, at least seen, bits and pieces of Days of Thunder. It's a very cheesy movie, but uh, I enjoy it a lot. Anyway, I've just seen uh, one Let's Play um, by a guy who used cheat codes in order to get through it. So there's various Game Genie cheat codes where, like, you get infinite fuel, or, or not infinite, it's extra fuel and the tires don't wear, so... Let's get this started, and we roll up on our motorcycle in cruising in fashion to Daytona Beach. Well, here they go for the qualifying round. So one of the cool things about this game is that it was one of the first two that I remember. Uh, NASCAR stock car games to uh, kind of almost simulate the whole uh, sort of racing weekend. And, uh, believe it or not, that was kind of a big thing back in, uh, back in the time. Uh, the only other NASCAR-themed game on the Nintendo Entertainment System, I believe, is Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge, which has NASCAR right in the game, uh, which I will get to at some point. Uh, this is an actually officially licensed NASCAR game, obviously, since it has it right in the title. This one just says, um, stock car and uses words like circuit and stuff. So you have to slow down in the corners or you'll get crashed. And I forgot to pay attention to what the best time, the time, the pole position. I don't know, they don't show the pole position time. Anyway. So as I go around in circles. Going fast and turning left. So the A key is your throttle. And uh, one of the neat things about this game is that it's uh, it's uh, a cruise control, no pun intended, where all you have to do is um, accelerate to the speed that you want, and it'll stay at that speed. Oop, don't hit the wall, which is kind of cool. B is is brake or decelerate to be more uh, accurate in this case. So you, you kind of slow down with the B, and then you kind of uh, want to hold your hold your score your speed. Oh, qualifying third! Look at me. This race is 12 laps long. This event begins the racing season. The hottest stars on the circuit will set the standards for the new year. So yeah, they just call it the circuit, but you know we all know it's the Winston Cup. So let's go! Let's race! Okay, so... You have, uh... Your enemy cars. They're not really enemy, but I call them enemy. The two, uh, differently colored cars in front of me 
I forget which is which, but um, they are Rowdy Rowdy Burns and um, Russ Wheeler from the movie. I think the yellow and red one is uh, Rowdy. Let's see if I can pass on the inside. No, I don't think I have enough room. And the other one is Russ. And everybody else is just generic, uh, generic guys. You don't want to run into the back of them. With like I did. Oh, that was crud. And you don't want to get too far behind either. So anyway, let's take a look at our screen while we're driving in circles. So fuel is on the left. It's labeled fuel for obvious reasons. Uh, on the right-hand side is the lap number and the place number. So I'm in third place behind Rusty and Rowdy. And they're the guys that you have to beat because they're always the ones in front. Oh, nasty leg. No, do not want. Oh, and there's no pause. Oh, wait, yes, there is. It's select. Oh, I don't know what my computer is doing, but it's being all laggy and stupid. Hold on one second. Come on. Ugh. Oh, you can do it. I know you can. Come on, frame rate. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, anyway, so in the left, lower left, you have the logo, and on the bottom, you have the screen, like the info ticker screen, and then you have miles per hour and your tachometer, and in the lower right is the damage indicator, it's, and it shows the wear on your tires. Jesus, what the fuck is my computer doing? Okay, I think it's done. Are you done? Okay. So when the tires get worn, they go from green to yellow to, um, I think it's like pink or purple or something. Oof. And you don't want to run into the wall because that damages tires. The tires wear on their own, which is kind of neat because that's like realistic and stuff. And the engine is the green thing in the middle. Oh, get out of my way. Ugh. And you don't want to get your engine damaged because it makes your car go slower. I'm going to pass you. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, my tires are purple. And when the tires get worn, they don't work as well. You can't corner as well for obvious reasons. And I keep running into the back of things. Anyway, that thought that was a kind of cool feature. Let's see, there's six laps left. And I need to pit next lap. Oop. Oh, and the tires also go to red, and that's bad. Although I don't think they go any further than red. They don't explode or anything. Oh, and my, my left side tires are all dead and sad. must pit pit no I ran through the pits now I'm gonna run out of fuel and die I got a pit I don't think so we're busy now you're what yeah eating ice cream ice cream give me some of give me give me some Now you're welcome to come on and get one, but I don't believe NASCAR would think much of you trying to eat an ice cream cone out there. You have enough trouble riding around the track as it is. Oh, game over. Out of fuel. Nice Fuck. Try, buddy. I was doing so well, too. Hard luck trickle, I guess. Winning isn't everything, but it sure would be nice. You asshole. Oh, oh, I finished in dead last. Did not finish. 
So here's a list of uh, drivers, Rowdy and Russ, and then some other generic people. I only point it out because um, apparently there's two uh, women running the circuit. Number 9, Jenny Taylor, and number 14, Jill Downing. So I did not finish, so I don't think I get any points. Zero. Bad news. Now we're at Atlanta. Okay, where do we go for the qualifying lap? Let's go. Time to beat 12.4 seconds. I think I can do that. So I figure I'll just play this until I get fired, which will probably happen. 13.2. can do better than that. Oh, just off the pace, just a touch. So yeah, all the tracks are kind of the same. It's just the number of turns that are different. Oh, 12.5. So there's no road courses in this game. No, no Watkins Glen or Sears Point or... 12.4. That's good enough for the pole. What? Outside pole. This race is 30 laps long. Here we are in the old south. The big A is the classic super speedway oval. Ah, uh, that's not how you would use the term. Anyway, let's go. A super speedway would be like Daytona or Talladega. Hit it. Oh, I'm going to pass you. Yeah, get out of my way. This is one of my better tracks. Because it's real, it's real straightforward. Give it more gas. Up into the corner. And this would be, um, this would be the old Atlanta, too. Because the, uh, the current Atlanta configuration, um, is no longer an oval. Atlanta used to be an oval up until 95? 96? I'm going off the top of my head. I haven't looked it up in a little bit. But they reconfigured it to a to a um, uh, a quad oval like uh, Charlotte with the um, with the kink on the front stretch, and it's a mile and a half now. So there's your there's your NASCAR trivia for Atlanta Motor Speedway. I kind of wish there was like a map or something I could see where everybody else is. So anyway, let's uh, about the game itself. I think I like the graphics in the game. They're um, they're definitely serviceable, but they do have uh, a few nice uh, quirks to them. So your car is identifiable as Cole Trickles, number forty-six City Chevrolet, sponsored by. Uh, Cousin Eddie, Randy Quaid. And, um, the pits are nicely detailed, which I'll get to in a second. And there's a nice, uh, there's a pretty good sense of, uh, speed, which is obviously kind of, um, faked by using the alternating, um, alternating, uh, checker pattern. Or, no, it wouldn't be checker. It would be just alternating colors. Oop. Which is kind of the uh, the way that um, some games uh, would fake the sensation of speed by making them pa pass faster. I like the clouds and the parallax background. I like that too. It's that little kind of touch that uh, that I like. So here's one of the generic cars. I will pass you one lap down, and I should probably pit next time by instead of trying to. Uh, trying to chance it so you have to slow all the way down here's the pits okay oh already missing what are you doing so you have control of these guys come on use the damn wrench uh... so you have the tire changer have to go to the other side and then you have the jack man who jacks up the car 
All right. Come on. Come on. Do it. Oh, there we go. And pull the jack back, and now we need to fill it with fuel. And then we're done. Go! Oh, too slow. We got passed. But that's okay, because I can pass him again. So, anyway, sorry I didn't... I was kind of rushing there. But that's kind of, um... This, this game's equivalent of the, uh, of the carrier landing from, uh... Top Gun. The frustratingly difficult minigame. Pass you on the inside. Pass you on the inside. Oh, no, maybe not. We'll pass him on the outside. No. And... Let's see. Come on, get around him. Ah! This is my good track. I can't not win here. So you had the jack man, you have to jack up the tires. Or the car. The side of the car. Amusingly, he has, uh, they have two jacks. One on each side of the car. And uh, you have the two tire changers. One, one for the front and one for the rear. Oh, don't hit him. I can't afford that. Come on. Go, go, go. Ah! Oh, I hurt the engine. I should be okay. Come on. Seriously! Oh, <laughs> and then you had the fuel guy who puts fuel in the car. Oh no! I don't think I'm going to be able to make it this time with the engine damaged. And I still need to make another stop. I'm going to stop next time by. Yet slow all the way down and then get in the pits. Okay, so let's try and do a better job this time. Okay, Jackman, go around the car. Uh, B switches, guys. A is action, and it makes an angry sound if uh, if you try to action and he's not lined up. Ugh. make the guy with the wrench. Fix the car. Gas man, come on. I don't think I need that much fuel, but it's too late. Oh, all the way to fourth? Come on. Uh -huh. So, yeah. There's that frustrating difficulty again. And it doesn't seem like the other car's pit, which is ridiculous. Can at least throw me a frickin' bone here. Give me some lovin' as the uh, song in the movie was. But yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no. Well, there is a little, there is a plot element later on in the game, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. Because if you don't, if you don't do well enough, you um, have to do time trials to prove that you're still worthy of stuff. There. At least that guy was for position. Finish third, probably, because I don't see... I don't see Rowdy or Russ anywhere. Ugh. And if I think about it, I'll link to um, the other guy's uh, Let's Play um, down in the comments, I think. You're not for position, are you? I'll run into the wall like a moron. Race over. And you get berated. Yeah, I don't need to see that shit again. Look, 170 points! I even led a lap. Oh yeah, they uh, actually use the actual uh, NASCAR um, uh, scoring 
So you get five bonus points for leading a lap and five more for leading the most laps. <sighs> but I'm probably still a bazillion points out of... Yeah, points away. Hey, it's Talladega! Okay, let's go. Yeah. Time to beat 24.9 seconds. So let's take it easy on our warm-up lap here. And see if we can do any better. How many turns is this? I think it's three. No, I guess it's four. Just like uh, Daytona. All right. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. Yeah, doing the stuff. Going fast, turning left, doing it again. So the hard part is working the throttle to try and not hit the wall. 24.8. What was the time to beat? Was it 24.9? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, and you could pit under qualifying too if I remember right. But it's kind of silly. And my tires are already tired. That's a thing that sucks is tire wear. When you use the cheat code to get, like, tires, its tires don't burst or something like that, but what you do is, um, when the tires get, uh, the tires get greasy, as, uh, um, Harry Hogg would say. Robert Duvall. Anyway, you just kind of ram into the wall until they cycle through to red, and then they go back to green again. And remember, that was the only way that I beat this game when I was a kid. This is even worse at this when I was a kid. Look at me setting the pole position. This race is 15 laps long. It's the biggest, the fastest race in the world. If you don't count um, open wheel. Oh, why do they have like instant acceleration? Okay, let's see. How am I gonna do this? Oh. Swing to the inside. Oh, so close! Yeah! You just have to be careful that he doesn't ram you in the ass. Because if you get hit in the back, you uh, can take damage to your fuel. Your uh, fuel tank. And it makes you leak fuel, which is bad. Going up the banking. So this is kind of almost like a real Talladega, at least in the corners. The banking's pretty sharp. Oh, it's... Why can't my tires last longer? Oof. Don't hit the wall, it's bad. Oh, only four laps in and both my s tires are worn. You can change only two tires if you want to be, like, strategic, but it usually doesn't help much. Although at least the, um, the the track time seems to slow down when you're in the pits, so... As you saw the other time that I did it, it took me like 30 seconds to do a pit stop, but I only lost one position. So that was that's kind of a, a concession to the player. I still think the tires wear too fast. Oh, now they're purple. Only six laps in. Shit. I need to stop next time by. Where are the pits? I think it's the next turn. There 
There we go. Okay, let's see if I can do this without sucking. Let go. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. No, I lost the position. Come on. Two? What? Come on. Three? But that was the best stop ever. It was even under 30 seconds. Why must you be so cruel? Hope I at least get to Michigan in this game. Michigan is my home track, as I am originally from Detroit, the Motor City, Michigan International Speedway, which I have been to a few times. Unfortunately, not recently, since I moved, and also it's really a pain getting in there, and the tickets are expensive. So there's only one uh, two-lane road leading in to MIS because it's so far out in the middle of nowhere off in the Irish hills of Brooklyn, Michigan. And that road is US 23 if I remember right. We just call it 23, but... It was pretty much an all-day an all-day uh, trip. When I say all day, I really mean all day, because you would you'd leave the house, have to leave the house at like six in the morning, and it was an hour and a half, maybe two-hour drive, not including traffic, and not including parking, and not including getting to your seat. And then by the time the the race let out, it was uh, another good two hours waiting in traffic and then another two hours home but it was worth it it was a lot of fun although it's always good to to bring like uh, a radio when you go to a NASCAR race because it's a lot more fun when you have an announcer who's telling you what to do and I'm gonna stop again Uh, going around. Put the tires on. It's kind of neat. It actually looks like Illumina, too. Which was the uh, Chevrolet that they ran at the time. And it's got the Chevy logos and everything. 26. That was even better. Oh, but there's still three laps left. And I'm so far behind because everybody else doesn't have to pit. It's so unfair. I'm tempted to turn Game Genie quotes on, or quotes, Game Genie cheats on for at least one race so I can at least show you what it's like to win. Ugh. So at least get one position back, I think. See what other tracks are in this game. I know Pocono is the Tricky Triangle in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. The easily the one of the most unique race tracks around. Oh, that was bad. Oh, what am I doing? Because it's actually shaped like a triangle. Oh, final lap. At least I have four turns to try and catch up to this guy. Oh, my tires, they're not good. Oh, don't hit the wall. I'm not going to do it. Ah, fourth place. Man.
A big fat loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 170 points. That's good for me. At least I should be out of the basement. No! Dover! Oh, I never noticed there were different cars in front. The Dover is identical. Time to beat. 12.4 seconds. Dover is identical to Atlanta. So. I'm pretty good here, too. He says as he runs into the wall. It's another nice touch. I like how all the tracks are different colors. Yeah, 12.4. That's the time to beat, you know. Oh, trying to trying to make uh, make this happen and get the actual pull. Go, 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 go. Oh. Probably on the outside again. Yeah, that's, yeah, this race is 25 laps long. The Monster Mile, one of racing's most spectacular tracks. I've always been fond of Dover. It's one of my favorite tracks. Hey, look, I'm trying to pull away. Go! Faster! Oh. So this one's only 25 laps, so maybe I'll have a better chance. Don't hit him. Ah, what did I just say? Come on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, Rowdy Burns. We all know you're a fake Dale Earnhardt. Look at me leading laps and shit. I can do that. It's just staying in front that's the problem. Ideally, I'll build up a bigger lead. They're trying something a little different than instead of trying to feather the throttle back and forth, going a little slower and then hitting it right before I get at the end of the corner. Oh! Can't hit the wall. You have to be pretty much perfect if you want to win a race. And I, I can't remember if I've ever actually won a race. I mean, like, legitimately. I want to say I have. Oh, slow. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I had this game as a kid because, you know, kids love race cars. But it was so hard. And my tires are dead again. As long as I don't hit the wall, I should be fine because the wall is really what slows you down. I can see some lap traffic in front of me. Oh, what did I just say? Listen to me when I'm talking to myself. Okay, I will stop next time by, I think. Pass this guy. Slow down. Okay. Now I should be good. I hope I have a pretty good lead. Come on. Jack my car. Okay, not too bad. Oh yeah. You can change them while they're doing stuff. Change players. Okay. Fuel. Press start. 
to start. Go, 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 go! Whoa, hey, what did both of you get here? Oh, I've been passed. Hit it. Come on, I can pass both of you. I just need to get around you. He stated the obvious. Oh, that was close. Come on, cut on the inside. Don't hit them. Ah! Don't hit the wall either! Oh, look at how much space I lost to that. Hey look, Russ is in front of Rowdy. Good for him. Pass on the inside. Or maybe not. I stuck behind lap traffic. Oh! Oh no, not the engine! I need that to go fast! Alright! Well we still are under a parking! I want you to go back out on that track and hit the pace car! Hit the pace car? Hit the pace car! What for? Because you hit every other goddamn thing out there, I want you to be perfect! Go on, go, go, go! God fucking duh! <laughs> There's only 25 laps, too. Shit. I need to pit next time by because I can't afford. Okay. We're just going to change right side tires. Come on. Wrench man. What? Why didn't you do something? What? Ah! 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 Why did that happen? Oh, come on! Fuel the goddamn thing! Go! 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 What? Ah! Why won't you go? What the fuck was that? Oh, I was doing so well. Wouldn't let me out of the pits and pushing, mashing on the start button. It's like, burn, 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 burn. you lose. All it needed was like the the prices right. Thing. Whoa, 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 wow. You big loser. Yeah. Let's finish fourth. I hope. Oh. What am I doing? Come on. No. Fifth. Oh, up yours. 165 points. 720. I am, oh, 215 points out of first place. Hey, it's Pocono. Look, it's a triangle. Time to beat 18.6 seconds. See if I can do that. Da, da, da. Nineteen point six, eh? I'm hoping that if I accelerate out of the corners instead of trying to run up against the wall the whole way, I'll go faster. Oh, 18.7. That's not good. Well, I guess it's pretty good. Uh, 
Oh. Don't think I'm gonna get the pole on this one. Oh no, my tires. And the wall, also. I don't care. I don't care anymore. My tires, they're dead. Take that, stupid tires. Vroom! Starting third. This race is 30 laps long. One of racing's most competitive tracks where only the tough survive. 30 laps, eh? That's a lot of laps. Especially for a track with three turns. So let me see. Hopefully I can do this well. Whoops. Okay. Oh, come on, I was past him! Why are you two so close together? I can't get around. Go, go, faster! Ah! Stop running into dudes! Oh, shit. Oh, now my tires are dead. Oh, no. Oh. Probably already lost this race. Come on. Can't get around. Must pass Russ Wheeler. No, not my engine! Oh, f fucking fuck. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting pretty frustrated. Uh, I'm just gonna put the cheat codes in now. See if I can find them. I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back! And I put some cheat codes in. Let's see if they work. Hey, it worked! I put in, um, tires don't blow out and start with more fuel and maximum acceleration. I don't know what that does. Uh, but I need to pit and fix my Oh, I missed! Fucking... Oh. Need to fix my engine! Out of my way, blue and yellow guy. Oh, don't hit the wall, you... Dingus. Dingus Khan. Oh yeah, that's right, there's only, uh... Okay. Oh, I, uh, suppose I didn't really need to do that. His tires don't blow. I just need to fix my engine. Get in there. Probably should put more gas in it too. As my pit crew runs around crazy like. Whoa! They weren't kidding about maximum acceleration. So you can just drive all the way into the corners like that, I suppose. Well, my fuel tank is apparently damaged. And somehow I'm not winning. Oh! There's still 20 laps to go. And my fuel tank has been damaged. Well, at least I won't have to do anything else in the pits besides put fuel in it. 
unless I run into the back of this guy. Which I didn't. Ow. Ow. Vroom! New tires. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to say. I'm hoping that I can win a race so you can see what it's like. Because then you really might know what it's like. Pass this guy. Oh, um, I should probably pit soon. I was not paying attention to my fuel leaking. Whoops. I meant to go faster, not to go slower. Oh, also, when you put fuel in the car, it um, fixes the uh, gas tank. Splash and go! Shake and bake and all that shit. God, I hate that fucking movie. Oh, it's so funny. Will Ferrell is a comedic genius. No, he's not. He's a fucking moron. God, I hate that guy. New tires. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of running out of things to say. Here, what other tracks there are in this game? I believe Phoenix is in here. Ugh. Oh, and the inside um, thing doesn't wear your tires as fast as the outside one does. The outside, uh, the wall. Vroom! I wonder what that maximum acceleration code does. It doesn't seem to be affecting anything. Oh, come on. Oh. I will pass you. I hope. I will run into everything. Oh, why did I hurt the engine? Why does this game hate me? Must pit again. Here. Put fuel in the car while I tell this guy. Oh, I keep picking the wrong guy. There we go. Push Jack up. Make engine better. Oh, that maximum acceleration doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe I'll have better luck next race. I also put um, start with more fuel. Hey, now I'm a lap down. Congratulations, Cole. You suck. You don't even get the lucky dog pass because there are no cautions. Maybe I need to start a new race to make the other cheat codes take effect. Drive. Drive it like you stole it. Steal it like you drove it. It's like Grand Theft Auto, only not as interesting. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna run out the end of this race and then... Whatever. I will pass you! Get my lap back. Now I'm on the lead lap. 
Not that it matters. I hope this guy in front of me is for position. Let's find out by driving past him. Yay, he's for position. I'm up to sixth place. Although I don't think I've got enough fuel to finish. Although I suppose I can push it as far as I can. And then just do a splash and go. Just like a real NASCAR thing. Stupid tires. Yes, I need to pit. Must pit. Gas man, put gas in car. That's good. Oh, Rowdy, you're an asshole and I hate you. Russ, you're also an asshole. Get out of my way! Leave me alone! <sighs> we have so many turns to catch this guy. Excuse me while I pass this guy. Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na. Sixth place. I think I led a lap, didn't I? So that's five bonus points. Let me see if I can get uh, this Harry to get mad at me. Race over. Yeah, whatever. 150 points. 905 is the leader, so I'm uh, not gaining ground. 655 points. I'm in 11th place. Hey, there we go. Trickle, sponsor angry at your poor performance. Stop, we'll withdraw unless you improve driving. Stop, you must complete the time trials with an average lap speed of 15.0 seconds. Stop, Harry Hogue. Well, this is it, Trickle. You'll just have to do well in this time trial or lose your ride. Or sponsorship, I suppose. Vroom. Huh. That maximum acceleration didn't do anything, and I'm not having any more, not having enough fuel. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to start the game over. Well, let's see if it works in my first, in the first race. Let's go. Come on. No. No, it's still not working. Why is that? Let me examine that and I'll be back. But this bitch is ready to run. Okay. I think I figured it out. Um what you have to do in this particular emulator is you actually have to set which game the code is for so I had to set it to this code to this particular game and now it's fixed and now it's working so yeah you can see the fuel gauge keeps uh, ticking down and then uh, ticking back up again and also the maximum acceleration you ready? Boom! Zero to 200 miles per hour in a brain splattering 1.2 seconds. Um, that doesn't explain why the uh, tire cheat was uh, working, though. So, I'm kind of at a loss. Anyway, I'm just driving around, ramming into the wall, quickly accelerating at ridiculous looking things. Yeah, that looks silly. 
running into the wall. So, uh, I should have the pole now. So, let's win uh, the Daytona 500. Eat my dust, you freak. Yeah, look at that. Instant acceleration. Although it makes it really difficult to work the throttle. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now. I think I'm uh, just going to do uh, kind of a fast forward um, through this to the end. And then I will rejoin you at the end of the race. Okay, welcome back to the end of the race. I'm just going to put some fuel in my car and be off. There we go. This is the final lap. It's the final countdown. At least get to see what winning is like, huh? And then I think I'm going to wrap this uh, up. So, Days of Thunder was also released on some other platforms. Now that's driving. A fine performance by Cole Trickle throughout the race. He's a man to watch for in the future. That's a race car driver. Yay! I don't know who those goofy looking guys are though. Look at me on top of the point standings, on top of them all, ma. So anyway, that's Days of Thunder. It was on a couple other platforms. I think it was on DOS and a bit more of a simulation kind of thing. And the only reason I know that is because I saw Ashens do it, include it in one of his his um, videos about uh, shortest uh, game overs. And apparently if you throw the car into reverse on pit road during qualifying in the DOS version of Days of Thunder, it immediately ends the game. And I think it was like three seconds or something. Look at me, driving on the edge of the world. And, um... Anyway... Uh, there's a, uh, there's a newer, uh, version called Days of Thunder, the NASCAR edition or something that's recently come out, which was... which is pretty neat. It's, uh, very similar in gameplay to, um, Daytona USA. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have any, uh, any of the, uh, drivers... Uh, wait, that's not true. I believe the PlayStation 3 version has actual NASCAR drivers, but the Xbox 360 version, which I have, is all fictional things. So, and that's actually a pretty pretty fun game. You can get that on Xbox Live Arcade and uh, whatever the PlayStation equivalent is. 
and uh, maybe I'll do that sometime once I get a video capture card. Anyway, this has been Days of Thunder on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and that's more than enough Days of Thunder, so I will see you later.